First Aid Community Action Agency is a private nonprofit community service agency serving people of low income throughout the state of Delaware. Those individuals who are in poverty at this point feel that they don't always have to be there. But if we provide them with the tools that they need, they will see that there's a better life and that's just what we're all about. If we work with those individuals here in the state of Delaware, helping them to understand that there's a better way, there's a better life, but they're part of the process. Not telling them what to do, but let them be engaged in the process. Because First State Community Action Agency is a hand up, not a handout. I was going through some crazy times. I ended up having to raise my goddaughter at two months old. And then as she was getting older, I noticed that I needed to get out because I am a CNA and I wanted to do what I do best, is take care of people. So my name is Saranda Barksdale. I entered the First State First Time Home Buyer Program in October of 2016. I thought I was ready to buy a house. I was living in an apartment. I didn't want to waste any money, so I gave myself a plan. I thought it was going to work. Um, when I first entered the program, I met Marva over at the Rose Hill Community Center. I went out on a limb, just in there going to the gym. I saw the posting on the wall that you all offered the first state, uh, first time home buyer program. And I was like, oh, okay, let me check it out. We actually made ground, and then it wasn't working out in my favor. So then I wanted to quit. And then Marva said, you know, hang in there. I'm telling you right now, it's a long journey, but don't give up. You know, you really can make it work. I had one job. The income really didn't suffice. So I went out and got another one. And I worked two. And then that's when I got my feet in the mud. I got stuck a little bit. So I started emailing Marva and I told her, hey, this isn't working. It's really not. Like, I need to figure out what to do next. I thought it was going to be easy when I first came home, um, and it wasn't. Everybody believed once you release, everything's going to be great, it's going to be fine, you're going to be happy. Um, in three days, I cut my wrist. It was an internal battle of knowing I don't want to go backwards, that I would rather die than repeat the life that I lived that led me to prison and the life I lived in prison. I entered a program called Inside Outside Dad, and I ran into um, Anthony Williams, who worked at First State. And he asked me a question, why was I so passionate about um, trying to learn as much as I was? So I told him I have an 11-year-old daughter. Inside of prison, I was trying to be a father, and it's hard um, because you're just a telephone dad. So as I'm telling them this and then letting them know that when I come home, she already said that she wants to reside with me. And that was a wake up call because I didn't know if I was ready to take on a responsibility for someone else's life who's looking for me to be their savior when I'm actually at that time looking to be saved myself. That uh, myth about everybody just sits back for a handout, that's not true. You have individuals who are struggling. You have uh, young parents who are struggling. You have uh, individuals who want to do better, but just need some guidance and some tools to help them to do better. The First State Action is helping me to help other people. Number one, it, it got me out of the four walls, just being there for the baby. Um, Mentally, it got me back to caring more. I picked the, the elderly because you can learn from them as well as they can learn from you. You can just be there for them and they have so much to offer. I mean, they really do. In conversation and everything. It's just, they're just awesome people. So I started calling Anthony and I'm like, I'm home, man. And I'm like, look, I need you. He just began to call every day and started working with me step by step, 
He was like, no, this is what the program is about. Um, and I know you want to stand on your own. Don't be afraid to lean on first date. What first date did for me is they gave me a plan of execution. I stuck with that plan because I had the support of someone who wanted to see me do well. First date offered me a young lady who when I walked in there and saw her and she looked at the income that I made, she looked at what it is that I wanted to do, she said, I'm going to help you meet your common goals no matter what. I'm with you. And now here I am, October 2018. I closed two years later on my first home. It, it's well worth it. And I would do it all over again. And every day I just walk in here and I just say, thank God I did not quit. Don't quit. That, that would be my advice for somebody else. Whatever you do, don't quit. And the journey for me to get the house is for my kids. This, the, the thing that really got me and I knew that this was surreal for me and it was very official because when my baby girl walked through the door because I was so hesitant to let her come in, she walked through the door and she looked around and she said, wow, mommy, is this mine? And I said, yeah, it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Doesn't matter to me. And she said, well, take me to my room. And I took her in there and she said, wow, I want this to be pink. My job is done. That's all I wanted. Happy kids, I'm good. I'm good. Everybody that I met, everything just trickled down. Like the way I met Anthony, how it got passed to Tanisha and her mom. I get the job and I'm grateful. I get, I get, I get my license. I get my first paycheck. I really, really appreciate it. If I really could explain how I felt before first date and how I thought and where I'm at today. You would never believe it. With us here at First Date, our goal is to really work to help make those individuals who are in poverty with uh, the tools that they need, job training, making sure that uh, education, uh, looking at the entrepreneur in those unincorporated communities, but working with them to help them to make sure that they're getting the tools that they need to uh, move to the next level. My goal also is to help them uh, feel good about who they are. With our partners, we can achieve the mission of First State Community Action Agency as we lift Delawareans out of poverty together.